What's up, YouTube? Long time no see. TPX Reviews with another review. Mountain Dew Kickstart. Energizing Limeade. And I made the joke before. <laughs> Energizing Limeade, huh? Yeah. Limeade would have been great. Works the same. Uh, like the, uh, like its other, like its, I don't know what, <laughs> brother, sister, cousin, whatever the hell, uh, like its friend, flavored sparkling juice beverage from Concentrate with other natural flavors. The last time I failed to mention that before, well, till later on in the review, and yeah, that oh. makes all the difference with me. Uh, juice is great. This actually, <laughs> this might be delicious, like a margarita. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, I love lime. Um, not as much as other flavors, but, you know, it's pretty good. Lime Maid's always been a pretty delicious and successful tasting thing in drinks, in energy drinks. Um, I've never been disappointed, usually, by uh, by anything Lime Maid. So, yeah, there we go, 80 calories. You got still 19 grams of sugar. And there's the content. Ooh, yellow number five. Spoiler alert. Ace of fame. Sweet. Took me a while to find a pretty decent can. That's the biggest thing. You look like such a weirdo when you're digging through like 7-Eleven's coolers and they're like you got the door open and you're trying to pick out the perfect can. This can is perfect except if you put your finger on the top and you follow the edge, you get to a point where it's a little like whoa. It's like it's jutted out just a little bit. It's like someone kinda clashed it or something or it's like a defect and then the kickstar i thought was perfect i mean the 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 black cherry was i thought was perfect and then as i was reviewing it there's like little tiny creases that are like you know someone just like with the knife this kind of pressed on the can it, it ugh, i hate those little marks it bothered me anyways so without further ado el cracko the drinko hmm so, I don't know if it's because I cleaned up my sinuses or something, but I guess I could smell this one a little better. Um, I will test that right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll be fair. I take back what I said about black cherry. It's pretty good. It smells pretty, you know, it smells pretty fruity. And it, it's, I think this one still comes off a little stronger, though. Just because of the lime, it just carries better. Yeah. I mean, who's comparing? It's pretty good, though. Um, it's got a decent smell, and it just... It's kind of like... doesn't smell... doesn't smell too delicious. Um, it's got a very, like... Salty kind of lime. Like, you know, margarita smell. But not like the good type of, like, lost Cadillac type of margarita taste. That is by far the best margarita tasting drink ever. And not... Not even just best smelling margarita, but because it is like a margarita smell, it, I mean, not just smell, but because it is the best, like, it's the only, like, the only margarita smell and tasting, it's the only margarita energy drink out there, so it's, uh, it makes it super special to me, um, and it's also delicious and probably one of my favorite energy drinks of all time just because it does something so different um too bad you can't find it uh lost cadillac rest in peace brother you were probably my top like you were my number three top favorite energy drinks of all time so yeah but no big deal so you know not really if you guys ever get your chance to find it full or something, you gotta try Lost Cadillac. It's like, like Lemon Lime Monster, or like, I, I wanna just say, just get a Monster Assault and just put some frickin', you know, lime margarita mixer in there. No alcohol, you, it will ruin the taste, uh, the, the taste if you want it authentically. Anyways, off topic. 
great drink, and I hope this tastes just like it so that I can buy it often. So, to replace that, and, you know, officially rest Lost Cadillac in peace, or Lost in Peace. So, that was so cool. All right, onward. Let's take a sip. Damn, it does not taste like Lost Cadillac. It does, however, taste very tart, but a sharp tart, almost like, almost like a, sh almost like a sweet tart. It's very, yeah, no, and I'm not trying to rhyme, but I think I'm kind of reminding myself of things that taste this way by saying words that just happen to rhyme, so that's kind of cool. But no, uh, it actually does taste super good. Um, not as good as black cherry. It's a little bit, like I said, on the last. It's, it's very. It's like water, but kind of sour, like tart. It's like tart water. Uh, the lime and the lemon. It that's you do you you taste lime and lemon, which is kind of unique because. I don't know, you don't really normally taste like that when you drink, like when you have limeade. Usually limeade tastes kind of more just like a, like a citrus or like a margarita. Instead, this is so true to being a lime that it's actually sour, like a lime. Normally sour, usually limeades are not sour. Um, they're usually pretty good because... It's like a, I mean, aid is supposed to be a version of lemonade. So it's lime aid or like lemon aid. So it's kind of funny that they, uh, it actually does taste just like a real aid, but with lime. So yeah, it's sour just like a lemonade is. So that's kind of unique. This definitely knocks me over. This is weird. This is this tastes super original. That's that's for sure. They definitely get <laughs> they get a nine point nine for that because I would give it a ten, but then that would make black cherry less of a delicious tasting drink, and it's not as it's not good where it deserves that. It's just like, it's super original. So, where it would have gotten a 9.7, it got a 9.9, .9. but, my god, that is very different. It's very, very tart, and it's still enjoyable. Um, I like it better than Red Bull Silver, so that says a lot. Um, whew. It's really good, guys. I, I won't lie. These new flavors are quite unique. Um, they're not just like, uh, oh, another flavor. They each have their own little special zing to them. This especially. This has literally got a zing. Wow. And out of the can, you get a back board that you don't get from a glass. Um, and what I mean by that is that uh, there's like a third flavor after everything. Uh, with the glass, you get it up to a certain point, and then it just drops right out of the can. Wow, you get the full authentic taste right to the very end. Um, and there's like a, a like a like a barrier like a thing that stops the taste, um, and it's almost kind of like sweet. So at first you get the zing, you get hit with the lime and the you know the, the lemonade of it all, of it all, and then it kind of fades out into like this really sweet wall. It's like sour than sweet. It's it's really quite quite great I didn't expect that I didn't even know you can do that with, with this type of deal um, especially because black cherry doesn't do that at all because it doesn't have to but that makes it so much or like that just makes it so original that two new flavors but they taste nothing like each other they're totally different worlds that's really unique and I got to give Mountain Dew kickstart a huge huge thumbs up for that I don't even know how these people make these drinks like you read the ingredients but this is all just crap because there's an ingredient there's a, a recipe to it all behind this logo that they can't share with you because um, it's all patent and stuff this is wonderful this is a great refreshing drink does it taste like a margarita drink like all the other limeades no 
it does not. I can actually see this being very well as a mixer. Uh, the only downside is that it does have a little bit of a sharp dry spot on the tongue. Uh, for me, it's to the left. My, the left side of my tongue goes a little dry. Uh, it's just, it's just, it's just a weird sensation. Um, I don't know if it ever happens to anybody, but it's the acyl fame. It just kind of dries up your tongue and dehydrates it. Um, it. It's, I don't know, almost like a chalky feel, like a sandpaper type of deal. Um, I don't ever get that from any other normal energy drink. It's just like anything with like, you know, sugar, like Monster, no problem. Um, so, yeah, it's very good, 9.9. .9. Definitely equal as awesome as Black Cherry but you have to pick your favorite flavor to determine which one is better to, for you. It's definitely not one's better than the other. It definitely depends on you. So leave my, leave comments down below which one you like better. I personally love them both. Um, they're great new flavors and welcome to the team guys. Uh, definitely like these better than the ones that are already out there. Uh, Orange and Fruit Punch. Uh, those were just so boring and lacked so much flavor and smoothness. So. Thank you guys very much for watching, and really, go try this. It's super great. Just get your first impression on it. Take it from me. If you can't get your hands on it, there's got to be a way to import these babies over there uh, to wherever you are. Because it's they're super popular. Every store, every every store, I mean, any every store in America sells this. I mean, you can probably go to BestBuy.com and buy a case. I'm not even kidding. Like, everybody sells this crap. So, it should be pretty, pretty fair. Um, if not, yeah. Oh well. But hey, as an added bonus to all of this loveliness, it's got electrolytes. <laughs> electrolytes are always awesome. It can electrocute you. It's quite beautiful. Alright guys, enough jibber jabber. I am just super... I miss you guys, and I love doing these reviews. And I don't mean to drag them all on individually, but I feel like I just need to talk to you guys in one major video. Like, kind of like a chat with you guys. And because I'm looking to switch it up this year, so maybe I'll open up a, a, a Skype or or a Twitch or something crazy where we can all interact with each other. Um, I mean, I even have a channel on my PS4. You can look me up. Um, just drop me a message uh, anywhere and let me know if you want to interact with me. You could we can talk about drinks. We can play video games together. Let's hang out. I want to hang out with my audience. I am so down for more friends online and just everything so all my lovely subscribers i want to talk and into i'm not as cool and crazy and like you know like like famous people like philip defranco and everything we can interact i want to talk to you all i'll answer questions anything well let's actually hang out so um as opposed to you know being a snobby guy who's so freaking popular that his subscription score breaks the sound barrier you know the the, the view barrier I obviously don't have that, so I can manage all of you guys as a friend. So let's let's play games together. I don't give a shit. I I want to be just as close to you guys as if I lived in your state. So yeah, let's do it. TPX reviews, energizing limeade, great drink, super delicious, and I will see you hopefully very soon. Peace out.